Kelsey, just because you're short already, he makes you look so short. We just noticed the horse was limping pretty bad and it looks like the leg might be broken. We found a horse that was laying down in the stall. Uh, we knew it was way worse than what they said. In there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think she's pregnant too. There you go. I'm sorry, but we can't fit you and all these horses on the trailer. She needs somebody. You're take up a lot of room. I know, I know, I know. When medicine is applied, these bolts will come out. You can pack the foot and then put this right back on. So on Thursday, I had Keaton set some posts out here. Yeah, this one over here and this one over here, we're gonna be putting two 12 foot gates across here. And we're actually gonna turn this into like an alleyway. So when we have to bring horses out of the pasture, since we get a lot of unhandled ones, we can just run them straight down and into the training barn. Before we had to run them into this pasture and then try to get them in there and it just was too much of a hassle. So we got this set up to make it a little easier on us. So we got this all set up now. We might make some minor adjustments to it, but it is functional. We can close this off and actually run horses all the way down the alleyway and put them in whatever pasture we need. So this is gonna make a big difference out here. It's gonna make us more efficient. We have an adopter here to look at Lady and Reese and we're all really excited for them because they're both rehab cases. Hi, precious lady. And she had a bath last week. Oh, she's soft. The end of the week. Hi, sweetheart. And she is super soft. Oh, she is. You can see all where her little hairs Aww. are growing in, and it looks so good. <laughs> she was really underweight and had a lot of skin infections. So I think primarily she had rain rot, but that means all along her back, um, the skin and the hair was peeling up, and then over her hips, she had a ton of hair loss. It wasn't foundered. Um, she had her feet done. She's just pretty sore, so it might be something like working with your vet, whether they recommend like a daily Prevacox or just like butte the morning of the farrier, just because she doesn't like holding her feet up for extended periods of time. Right. Yeah, I don't know if I can find a picture from like the first time we gave her a bath versus now. I mean, you can totally tell the difference. She's looking so much better. So that's the scratches that you're talking about? Yeah, or I guess legs. technically scratches like on the back of the fetlock, cannon bone scurf, cannon crud. Hold on. Well, I think you already knew you were going to take her home, didn't oh, yeah, well, you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I well, I guess we could hours. just get you an adoption photo while you're here. <laughs> Smile. We're going to bring Reese over here. She's still getting brushed, but that's okay. We can come see her. So, yeah, she's still shedding from that, from that, um, well, she's got rain rot and seasonal shedding, so. Yeah. <laughs> she's super sweet, so I think, like, what you were saying, once she gains some weight, like, I think you could totally use her as a lead line horse or. Okay. She is taking Reese and Lady. Super excited. Okay, perfect. So I found out about Horse Plus. I followed them. I had seen a YouTube video a couple of years ago, and so I've been following um, you all on YouTube and seeing the horses and watching the horses that come through. Um, today I was able to get Reese and Lady. My experience here was wonderful. Everybody here is really great. I think that they do amazing work, and it's so important um, to protect and save as many horses as, as they can. So Lady and Reese were just adopted. They both came to us as body condition score one. Um, they were able to gain quite a bit of weight while they were here. Um, they are still body score two, 
um, but the adopter is going to continue their rehab. So we are heading up to quarantine to go do our second round of vaccinations um, and another round of deworming on some of the horses that are coming down today. We're going to bring down one of our pastures so that way our trainers can start assessing them and working with them to get ready for our adoption event. Kelsey, just because you're short already, he makes you look so short. I'm going to call him... Let's call him 1350. What did I have we at before? 1240. So normal rectal temperature for a horse is anywhere between 99 um, and 101 or 101.5. So when we check your temperatures with the uh, microchip scanner, we are going to get a little bit of variance on that. But the biggest thing is, especially if we have any horses that we're worried that are sick or anything, it is a good way to track changes. So even on ones where it might not be completely exact on the temperature down to, you know, the degree or something, we can track changes if there's elevations or any decreases or anything like that. I'm not sad that we're not moving the donkeys today. All the girl donkeys, they got a mind of their own. That's pretty wild. But we're gonna have Doc hopefully come out this week and do all the preg checks and everything so we know um, who's pregnant and who's not, what kind of care we need to adjust for that. So we put all the Belgians inside the training barn so we can get their evaluations done. We're also gonna bring Delente back over here and put him in there because this will probably be drier than his stall because he uh, urinates quite a bit. And I just wanted this pen right here set up for all these guys to hang out while we have the giraffes on the training board. So now we got the Belgians down here, we're gonna evaluate them. Kelsey, our new trainer, is going to start pulling them out and getting them ready, and we'll see how they do. His back feet, they just need a trim. It looks like he's got some pretty severe thrush going on. I was able to pick him up and clean him out. Let me have our farrier come out either later this week or next week, then we'll get him taken care of with his back feet. We just thought he was gonna be kicking out a lot, but he's actually really good with them. So we got finished up with the draft horses that are really stringing their feet. We have Kelsey in the round pen that is working with one of the drafts right now. We're gonna see if they ride. But for now, we're waiting on farrier care for the rest of them just to uh, evaluate them under saddle. Hey y'all, it's Sarah and I am the operations coordinator here at Horse Plus Humane Society. I like to kind of call myself the floater here. <laughs> I kind of am everywhere. so. I'll answer the phone, schedule appointments. I also work on our gift shop as well, um, designing some new products and designs. So definitely go check that out. If you follow us on the supporter group, you'll see some videos, little updates that I've made over there. And sometimes I'll help out with the auctions and intake and all that. So I'm just kind of everywhere. I believe it was 2017, um, I started volunteering out here at Horse Plus and I loved it. None of these buildings were here. Like we weren't, we didn't have our TV show. We didn't, we weren't doing YouTube, nothing. I was just out here grooming horses. After high school, I came back and I started working in the media team. Being on the media team uh, was such a big help and I grew so much during my time here. And as some of you know, I decided to go back to college to finish my degree. And um, I got the opportunity to do some online classes for a while. 
and I called Tanya up and said, hey, do you have a job opening? And so I'm back. Isabella just asked me what my favorite type of horse was, but if you were to ask my dad, <laughs> he would tell you that my favorite is um, actually not a horse, half horse, it would be an Appaloosa mule. And so that is one of my goals is to have an Appy mule. It looks like the adopters are here. They're gonna be looking at Cornelius and a couple of other horses. Remember you with Cash and mm -hmm. Ivan. How are they doing? Today? They are wonderful. That's great. They are doing so great. Um, Cash is putting on weight. We've kept him on so his medicine. Great. We have him on supplements. He's doing great. And um, Ivan, um, he's just doing great. That's awesome. Yeah. So this is Mr. Cornelius. He is a good looking boy. He was previously here, but was adopted and then brought back. Um, I think his previous owner was mainly doing like trail riding with him. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know a lot about it, but from my understanding, he did really well with it. She just didn't have time mm -hmm. um, really to spend with him, so. Good boy. I can work with him. You think you're going to take him home? Yeah. She is taking Cornelius. Yay! You can find his picture over here on the wall. Yes. And move him to the found loved yes. side. My gut was right. Yeah. So when we got Cornelius, he came from auction and he weighed 920 pounds. And as of well, January 24th, which was a couple months ago already. He was 1,018 pounds, so he gained almost 100 pounds, 98 pounds. Pretty good, and he looks great now. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Appreciate it. You guys are welcome to come back anytime you want. Right. <laughs> we'll be expecting you. <laughs> I'm here at Horse Plus Humane Society, and I came looking for um, a trail riding horse um, who actually could also take lead for a, another horse that's actually blind that we have that we adopted from Horse Plus about two months ago, and we found him. His name's Cornelius. Um, this is my second time here at Horse Plus, and I have to say I have been incredibly impressed with just how the horses are taken care of, the staff, um, it's truly an incredible place and I highly, highly, highly recommend them, especially if you are looking for a horse that needs love and you have a place, definitely, definitely look at Horse Plus Humane Society. So sometimes horses, you know, when you first put them in the pasture with each other, they will fight a little bit. We just noticed the horse was limping pretty bad and it looks like the leg might be broken. I'm hoping it isn't, but sometimes this stuff just happens when you have a bunch of horses together. We are wrapping Calissa's leg. She cut it up pretty good over the weekend. Uh, we did get the vet out here and they determined that it was not broken. So we just need to focus on getting it healed up and then they're gonna come out and they're gonna cut off a lot of the dead skin so the healing process can continue. So we just finished up wrapping Calissa's leg. We had to put her in the chute to give her some xylazine to kind of calm her down. She wasn't really standing well for it before we did that. But now she's in there, we just gotta keep an eye on it, keep wrapping it with ferrozone, gauze, and vet wrap, and then cold hosing it before we do all that. And she should be healed up in no time. My name's Donnie Hobbs, and uh, me and my wife started Sugar Creek Ranch, rescuing horses, you know, saving lives one horse at a time. And um, recently, a week ago, we were at an auction, and uh, we found a horse that was laying down in the stall, couldn't get up. Um, we asked a vet about him, and um, all he could say was just a bad case of founder. Uh, once we got him to actually stood up, uh, we knew it was way worse than what they said. Um, we actually had a donation come through that night of $100, and um, we actually got him at $100, $400. And we got him home, and 
I was on the phone with Horse Plus, and uh, now we're here. I mean, yeah, it's definitely got founder going on, but holy cow. We rescued our first horse. Our first horse that we rescued, we got actually um, same auction, and y'all were there as well. And when we got her, she was foundered pretty bad. Her knees were swollen up real bad. But That's typically what we see out there, is just medical issues, you know. And now she's just, that's our, she's she's forever. She's gonna be forever. That's what started our ranch, the Sugar Creek Ranch, because we awesome. named her Sugar, so. You guys gonna start getting more? Yeah. That's awesome. It's just, it's sad that. Yeah, it is. People let them get to that level. I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, I've never either. That's how he was when we found him, but of course laying out. He's got the painkillers kicking in, so he can just relax there. At the auction, I went in there and started petting him, and he just lifted his head up, and I knelt down, and he just put his head like on my lap, like a kid, you know what I'm saying? And I just fall in love with him after that. We we uh, stand behind what y'all do 100%, and you know if we get a horse and we and we can't do what we need, then we'll definitely bring them here again. So this is Belle. I will be riding her in the round pen today. We just lunged and got some work done, and then we'll be heading out to the arena. It's just some goats. You're okay. You see them? They won't get you. You're good. We went through them and she had a good old time. Yeah, she remembers. She just wants to run. Good girl. She can make someone a great trail horse as long as they can handle her hops, ever so often, tiny bucks, maybe some rares and she likes to go. Compared to last time, she's doing great. We had a couple more bucks than last time, or last time we had a couple more bucks. Now she just has some issues about standing still in general and while getting on. But getting off, she hasn't moved any. She was better at that. She just needs a lot of constant riding because once she gets that, she will do a whole lot better, be very smooth about getting on and off. I think she'll even be better standing still. You just gotta work with her. But other than that, she's been a great horse and she keeps getting better every day. So Doc just got here. He is gonna be um, doing some pregnancy checks on a couple of our donkeys. Um, unfortunately, he is gonna be giving the last act of kindness to the owner's surrender that we had with a broken leg. And then we have a Coggins for him to pull. I think we're, we're going to try to pregnancy check some donkeys. That was the ultrasound probe, pregnancy checking them with an ultrasound. You got It's sort of nice to know with your hand, you can feel the size of the uterus as it gets big. If you feel a bubble or, or fluid in there, then there's a good chance she's pregnant. Looks, so we're, and then what we're going to want to do, if we still have her in three or four months, is check her again and make sure she's um, still pregnant and then plan accordingly. You're gonna be a mama. Bye Ivy, good job girl. In there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think she's pregnant too. There you go. Some of the babies, they're still here, check again in a month? Yeah, a month, ago. six weeks, yeah. yeah. Oh, what's that right there? That? Yeah. I think that's what we're looking for right there. It went well. Uh, nobody got injured. Uh, and no horses were injured in the filming of this program. Uh, what all we do? Oh, we pregnancy check, what, five? 
and uh, I think three of them were pregnant. I think three were not. The two horses were not. Uh, two donkeys, 97.3% sure they're pregnant. They're so early that you're gonna reach, we're gonna recheck them anyway. And one of the other donkeys was real questionable. She may have just barely be pregnant. One last act of kindness. We had a broken leg that had a lot of scar tissue. It'd been, he'd been hurting, she had been hurting for a while. She came in, they said it was a gilding, but uh, it was a little, little mare, an older mare. And you hate to see that suffering. It's never gonna get better. It was broken right in the carpus. That's, uh, that's their knee joint. And that just wasn't gonna get any better. There's, the bones had already dissolved, some of them. We had a good day. It was a fun day, except for the last act of kindness. But we did our job. I'm Peyton Christian with Christian Farms Rescue and Rehab. We are here today at Horse Plus looking at possibly getting a few that are coming out of quarantine and we also brought a few shelter surrenders today that we couldn't adopt out our rescue. Hopefully they'll have better luck here. This is a shelter transfer and this is Christian Farms and they're also going to be taking Probably a few with them today. Knowing Peyton, it's probably gonna be about four. <laughs> she about 10. She'll probably just end up being a pasture pet or something like that. Does she have any brands or anything? About 10. Peyton? How in the heck did you go from three to 11? 12. Yeah, we got 12 now. Have you uh, went into the office yet? No, I have not. So we you go might want to go look at the wall. So you might, you might need to go look okay. at the wall. I'm sorry, but we can't fit you and all these horses on the trailer. She needs somebody. You're take up a lot of room I know, I know. I know, because I mean, so we're going to have to load you in the front. It's all 6'3", 250 pounds of me. Yeah, we're going to have to load you in the front. Hold on, we got to get an altar and everything on here first. <sighs> the defo. He needs to be snipped. They do it here. Yeah, they do it here. That's See, great. that ain't happening. Good luck. <laughs> Peyton came out today with Christian Farms and they have decided to take home 12 horses. Um, we're getting the small ones loaded up into Peyton's trailer right now and then they have a horse hauler on the way to pick up the other eight. I know y'all want to take me, but... <laughs> So the transport for Christian Farms just got here and we we're gonna load them up and then they're gonna hit the road. All the horses have been loaded and the transport is leaving. So we have a cat surrender today. Um, apparently these cats just showed up at this guy's house and one of the cats had four babies, I believe. And so, yeah, he can't take care of them, so he's surrendering them here. Um, oh my goodness, they're tiny little jelly beans. <gasps> Hi, mama. Oh, my I darling. see the baby. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at your baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're so Got baby number two. <laughs> Or, <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! Aren't they so yes. cute? Oh my goodness. They're so cute. So who's taking this batch home? Oh. You ready to go? Come on, pal. So we were taking a couple animals to Tennessee Equine this morning. This is Bradford. Uh, we tried to geld him the other day and we gave him a bunch of anesthesia and he just did not want to go down, so we're going to see what Tennessee Equine could do. And then we're also taking Delente. He's got canker on two of his feet, one on the front and one in the back. And he's going to get all that cut off today and then they're going to put pads on him so we can heal him up. Good job. We are all loaded up. 
Uh, we're ready to go to Tennessee Equine. I got my coffee here, so I'm gonna be nice and awake for it. And I think we might need to stop and get fuel and then we'll be over there. We have made it to Tennessee Equine. We're unloading Bradford first, and I think we're gonna get him in a stall. And then we're just waiting on our farrier, Kayla, to get here so we can do the debridement on Delente. So Bradford is currently getting his castration procedure. We have Delente resting comfortably in a stall, and then Kayla and Lyle just showed up. So that way, as soon as we start the debridement procedure, they're ready to get his shoes on. So the plan is, once we fit the, the shoe to the foot, we're gonna have a plate here, and it's gonna slide and have a little finger that goes right there in the toe. And it'll sit like that, and we'll have two screws at the very bottom, or two bolts, rather. So you just unbolt it and slide the whole plate off. That way, you'll be able to treat the foot however it needs to be treated. And it simply just slides back up in there and rebolt it back. So he had an uneventful castration, and he is recovering now in the recovery stall, living his best life on all his medications. But it went really well. He's a good boy. All right, so Delente is ready for his procedure. They did install a catheter right here, and they wrapped it up so it cannot fall out. So we're going to bring him over there, and we're going to lay him down and get started. We are quickly making it to the recovery stall. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that these shoes will fit. That way we can get a good perimeter fit all the way around his foot. He's got something to stand on. I think they'll work. Hopefully they'll work. Currently in the middle of debriding Delente's feet, um, with the hypertrophic like keratinous growth, they're highly vascularized. So while they're taking away all the bad tissue, there is quite a bit of blood just from all the vessels that is in it. Um, but so far, he's doing great. So when they're creating the shoes, they'll put the hot shoe on the foot. Um, just to see exactly where the placement is. They want to make sure that the placement and the shape of the shoe is exactly what they need, especially um, with them making the custom shoe. So they'll do that to make sure it's the perfect fit. And if they need to make any adjustments, they will, and then they'll recheck it. So we're going to be applying what's called a Z-bar. This is the shoe. This just helps stabilize the foot since he has such a big section of heel missing. And then this is going to go over the shoe like that to protect the area that was treated. So then when they, when medicine is applied, these bolts will come out, you can pack the foot, and then put this right back on. So they are working on getting his Z-Bar shoe on. Um, he's still a little sedate, so it's taking a team of them to do it, but hopefully they'll, they'll behave himself and he's getting the shoe on and then the hospital plate after that and they're packing it with the medication um, and then he should be good. So we are done at Tennessee Equine today. We had a lot get done today. Jenna, you wanna explain some of what happened today? We did. Um, so Bradford, he did not like the sedation when we tried it last time. So we came up here today just in case we had to use a different concoction of medications. But the anesthesia tech and the doctors, they did a wonderful job. He had a super smooth procedure, um, really smooth recovery. And so he's super excited to go home because it is his adoption day. Delente also had a really good procedure. Um, his was just harder because when you're trying to anesthetize that large of an animal, there's a lot of pieces in place as well as horse safety, human safety. 
Um, but they had two dockers working on them, two farriers working on them. Great team. We were able to get the debridement done and they were able to get the special shoe fitted. And now over the next few weeks, Corey and I are gonna have a lot of fun doing his medication on his feet. All together, it was a good day out here and we are ready to hit the road and get back to the shelter. So we have Delente and Bradford situated for now. Bradford is actually going to be going home soon. And Delente is good for the night. He's got some hay in front of him. So he just gets to relax and wind down. We love all of our adopters, but we have a really special adoption happening today. Actually, our registered vet tech, uh, Jenna here, she is adopting a little donkey today, and she named him Frank. He's so cute, and I think her kids are actually gonna come with her and pick him up today, and we know that Frank is gonna be spoiled rotten in his new home. So Bradford, now officially Frank. Um, I fell in love with him when we went to the last auction. He was in a pen with a bunch of other ones and kept pushing by everyone to get pet, and I didn't think I needed a donkey, but I was wrong, I needed him. Um, and I've just fallen in love with him. We've been out here on the weekends medicating other horses. Every time we go up there, he always comes over Ronan and Brian, and we just needed him. So as soon as um, he got back and I could, I put my $150 hold on him, and we are super excited to finally bring him home. They get them from auctions to save them from getting killed and uh, to help them um, get better and then help them to get adopted into new homes, like Frank. We're taking home Bradford, also known as Frank. He's really just gonna be a pasture pet that me and my sister can love on. It was awesome and I really wanna work here. <laughs> 